this overcrowded camp continues to expand. And the scrolls here speak for themselves. The Moria refugee camp on the Greek island of Lesvos was built to accommodate around 3,000 people at the peak of the refugee crisis in 2015. Now, nearly 14,000 people endure squalid conditions. Among them is Habib, an Afghan whose journey here with his family took 14 months. The place, the security, the food, there are big problems here. By trying to raise his tent above ground to avoid it from flooding again, he's trying to fix some of the problems himself. He's not the only one. The camp is teeming with the outcome of the EU's failure to protect refugees. It's expanded well beyond these fences and into neighboring groves. Greece's new government has responded to unrest at the camp by saying it will speed up transfers to the mainland. 570 refugees were moved on Sunday. The fire recently at Moria camp may have been an indication that the camp and its residents have been pushed to the limit. The NGOs working here are also feeling overwhelmed. NGO workers here feel like their own governments have not fulfilled their duty. It's so frustrating to see what kind of pain and suffering we put people that already have left their countries, their homes, to come to Europe and see this in what I will define as my own backyard. The UN says sea arrivals to Greece spiked to over 10,000 people in the past months, the highest since the EU-Turkey agreement came into effect in 2016. And to new arrivals, like 17-year-old Ahmed, it's all too much. We're four guys in one small tent. They didn't give us anything, just blankets. And even those are wet right now. They didn't even give a tent. They told us, come back in two months and try again. I have lost all my dreams here. Despite Greece's strict new policies against asylum seekers, many are still making the journey out of desperation. And in the days to come, these vast fields may soon be populated by more devastated dreamers like Ahmed. Rahul Radhakrishnan, TRT World, Lesbos, Greece.